What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 3 of WZB. Unfortunately, I had to miss out on a week just because of some things that caught up with me and I just have to deal with them. But I'm back with episode 3 and today's challenges that I need to be are using 10 Fate and Fortune cards, which is very simple, and then the Call in the Hoff 5 times. Now, I'm pretty sure the way that the Call in the Hoff works is by completing the in-game challenges. So, once you build Neil's head, the robot that you see, in the middle of the map he'll actually do some challenges once you complete them then you can call the hoff in i'm pretty sure that's how it works so all we have to do is basically complete the challenges call in the hoff five times and we'll get 250 salvage and if we do use 10 fate and fortune cards we will get 60 keys so let's get straight into it guys all right you guys know how it's done the first fate and fortune card i'll be using is scope dollars of course it's like pretty much the first fate and fortune card i always use so this is neil's head um pretty much the only way you can actually get the hoff into the map and that plan is gonna freaking blow up all right so the first challenge from neil is to not go down and i have to survive for pretty much two minutes and we are going to use our second fate and fortune card now just Shopped class. I'm gonna use my third fate and fortune card, Scorching Sun. Alright, so we completed the first challenge that Neil gave us, so he's now just gonna find a new challenge for us, and we practically just have to complete that. Once we complete the challenges again, we'll be able to spawn in the Hoff, which is something we have to do five times, which is very simple. And now, guys, we're actually gonna use our fourth fate and fortune card, it's called Nade party which basically regenerates your grenade slot so if I was to use a grenade eventually I'll get my grenade back practically there we go oh my god so if this next round can quickly start we might be able to melee four zombies and kill them because I just remembered my RVN actually turns into a melee weapon which you can actually get one hit kill so come on we gotta find four more zombies come on where are you zombies no I'm not going to be able to complete, am I? Come on, two more zombies. No, damn it. We will literally one kill off from completing that challenge. That's all right. At least I know in the future that I've got something that can help me complete that challenge. All right, guys. So my... Oh, jeez. My next challenge is to kill five zombies while jumping. That's fairly simple. You just jump and you shoot the zombies and you kill them. Nothing too advanced here. Although I'm currently failing at this and I might just die. Nope. Alright, so we just completed that challenge. Probably, again, one of the easiest ones. Alright, there we go. So the challenge is ready. All we need to do is kill five zombies with a melee attack. One more left. Bang, there we go. Alright, so we've completed all of Neil's challenges. Which now, if I can find where Neil is, because he just wanders about in the middle of the map. Alright, there you are, mate. So, if we actually go up to Mule, there we go, so we've called him, we should be able to actually see where he is. There he is. Alright, so he's going to crash down with the Hoff, and I'm pretty sure all we have to do is that five more times, or four more at this point now. Alright, so just a quick update guys, so we've had to call in the Hoff once now in this video. We've actually used six Faded Fortune cards, so we're four Faded Fortune cards away from completing the Willard Wireless Bounty. Alright, so the next Fate of Fortune card, guys, I will be using is Scorching Skin. Alright, we've got ourselves in a bit of a shitty situation, but we've got ourselves out of it. Alright, guys, we're going to use the 8th Fate and Fortune card, Scope Dollars. There's pretty much no use to it at the moment. I'm just going to use it because, well, I need to use Fate and Fortune cards. And anything will do at the moment, as long as I can complete this challenge. Therefore, we can move on to just putting Neil's head on. Completing his challenges and then calling in the Hoff. Alright guys, so the reason why I had to restart my game is because some things came up while I was recording. So I had to actually stop playing. I had to go quickly sort out the issue. But it's all good. We are back. But it kind of helps me in a way because we still need to call the Hoff in five times. And my plan of how I'm going to complete this is every time I call him in. So once I put the head in, complete Neil's challenges and it calls the Hoff in. I'll just restart the game and just do that three to four more times. But for the uh, Fate and Fortune cards, we should finish that by like round six, seven. Alright guys, so I can fasten up the process for Neil's challenges. I'm just going to go quickly do them now. Let's quickly get these challenges done. Hopefully the first challenge I get now is the uh, 
melee kills because that would actually help me quite a bit. Nope, instead we have to get multi kills. Best way to get a multi kill, just grab all the zombies into a little pack like this. Try not to die as well. That's probably the most useful advice ever. Just don't die. And make sure you got zombies like that and like that. Done. And we're actually going to use a Fade and Fortune card now. Yeah, let's use Scope Dollars, of course. It's like my favorite Fade and Fortune card at the moment. Alright, so we got to get five melee kills. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Come on. There we go. Two more zombies. You two. You guys. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Alright. Oh, God. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Why did I go down this way? No. Oh, no. We've only got to kill two more zombies. One more zombie. Where are you? Where's this last zombie? No! Fucking knife! No! We were one knife kill away from completing that challenge. Come on, give me a clown round. Yes! There we go, guys. All we need now is just to knife these last zombies. If they're not a one knife kill, oh my god, they're not a one knife kill. This is gonna be impossible to do. This is going to be impossible to do, guys. I don't know how I'm going to complete this last stupid challenge. Come on, just die. Please, do me a favor and just die. And on the way, when you die, just give me an insta-kill. There we go. All right, we've got it. We've got what I needed. Come on. All I need is four more zombies. Three more. Two more. Are you serious, man? You just freaking killed them in front of me. This game, man, this game, all I had to do was knife those two zombies and I would have completed the challenge. But no, Mr. Crocodile, or fucking alligator, whatever he wants to be called, decides to do it for me. Thank you very much. And now insta-kill's wearing off. I have to quickly do this. Come on. No! No way! Not when I got one more left. No, I'm just gonna knife it. I'm just gonna knife Are you serious? Are you actually serious now? Oh my god! You know what, there's no point, I'm just gonna restart, I'm fucking done. I'm actually so annoyed right now. All I have to do is freaking knife those two zombies and I would have completed the challenge. There we go, we completed the Hoff's bounty. I can actually just end the game, I don't even need him to fly down onto the map. There we go guys, so let's go get our rewards. So if we go to zombie crates, we got one set of keys, which we got... There we go, so we got 60 keys for completing Willard Wilder's bounty. And for beating the host bounty, we get 250 salvage, which is awesome. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit weird because I didn't get to do last week's bounties because I was very busy. But this week, I was able to. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you guys are new around, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.